Okay, so we have our uh, Linux environment up and running now. And uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to plug in my uh, USB card reader that has a uh, 2 gig micro SD card in the slot. And uh, when I plug that in, first thing that will happen is Windows will want to auto play. And I'll just show uh, that there's just uh, a bunch of uh, garbage on here at this point. Uh, so I'll close that. I'm going to come up here to devices and USB devices. And I'm going to select the generic mass storage device that activates um, that card reader. And uh, you'll notice down here uh, there's uh, activity uh, going on down by the USB port. And there we have it. Um, the little uh, USB card uh, is now represented by a uh, icon. Uh, it shows that it's a 2 gig card or 1.8 gig rather. Uh, we can double click this and uh, actually uh, with this puppy Linux environment, um, a single click uh, should suffice. So that's something to get used to. All right, so here's everything in this a uh, couple files and whatnot that I was using for other things. Um, it shows that it mounts MNT, uh, that stands for mount, and then it shows that it's device uh, one. Uh, we're basically going to blow all of this out by going to menu and then system and then the G parted partition manager we're gonna tell it to always scan all drives at startup uh, just so we don't miss anything so here's the core of what we're gonna need to learn how to use this is very simple over here you see that it's saying device SDA we're gonna click on that and it shows that SDB is our other device uh, here it is and uh, you'll notice that it's showing uh, that 1.84 gigabytes is used uh, or the actual partition. It's a FAT16 and then there's some unallocated. Uh, we're going to right click on this and the first thing we're going to do is unmount it. Uh, mounting means basically that uh, it's it's activated in Linux and uh, you always want to unmount before you modify. Uh, that, that seems to be a problem for rookie Linux users. So we're going to unmount and now we can come in here and I'm just going to delete this partition and you'll notice that it says delete but it doesn't actually do anything until it hits apply so I'm going to go ahead and apply that and then I'm going to uh, close this so now we have a completely unallocated card so we're going to go up here we're going to do new and the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a fat partition uh, we're going to make the fat partition uh, half of the size of the card uh, so you can either use um, the, the arrows here or uh, you can type the numbers in yourself I'm going to just kind of eye it here and this is adequate that's fine so basically our 1.2 uh, gigabytes and then we're going to leave almost 600 left so primary partition we're always going to make a primary uh, for this um, purpose and then file system you see we have all of these different options we are going to do this one as a fat 32 and we're not going to let I mean, you can label it if you want here I'll even label it for simplicity sake and I'm going to hit add so now it's going to create that new partition uh, we can hit apply or we can go and move ahead and do another new partition this time you'll notice instead of hitting the new button I'm right clicking and doing new and this is what's left and we're gonna make this one an ext3 partition and again I will label this ext3 and again primary partition it's what's left hit add now I will hit apply are you sure you want to apply the pending operations? Yes, I do. And it's going to create these partitions and it's going to format them to the specified formats. The nice thing about a 2 gig card is it won't take long to do. If you're doing this with a 8, 16, or 32 gig cards, be aware that you will be waiting a little longer for this process. You'll notice that a lot of the subtle nuances to Linux are very similar to Windows. Those of you who are concerned or scared to play around with this, uh, it doesn't take long. Uh, I don't consider myself to be an expert uh, Linux user, 
but um, it, it doesn't take long to figure this out. Again, if you're watching this, then you must have at least base knowledge to be able to do this. Okay, so we have two partitions now. We have a FAT and we have an EXT3. And um, you'll notice that the mouse is kind of a bear uh, with this uh, program. Uh, it might have something to do with the resolution that I'm using. It just takes some getting used to here. Okay, so I'm going to close Gparted. Uh, you'll notice that my uh, device is still down here. I can click on it and uh, it doesn't really know what to do with it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go to let's go to file manager okay so as it stands right now it doesn't see our whoops it doesn't see our card uh, it sees what it used to be. So what I'm going to do is, uh, just for a quick refresh, and I'm sure that somebody will criticize this later, is I'm just going to unplug it. You'll notice the icon went away. And I'm going to plug it back in. And then I'm going to go back up to device again. USB devices. General mass storage device. And slowly but surely, those two partitions that I just created will show up. So here is number one, and this is the uh, fat partition that we created. And then number two is the X ext3 partition. You'll notice that it created a lost and found directory. That's normal. That is exactly what we want it to have. That's, uh, an, again, something that Linux does. Uh, so you, this is your FAT partition, and this is your ext3 partition. In this partition, uh, if you uh, right-click, you can do new directories. And if I wanted to, I can make one. Oh, let's just say uh, one called uh, Dalvik uh, Cache and hit Create. And I also could do a new directory called uh, app. Um, pretty simple stuff. You can go in and uh, add things to this. This folder here uh, will be manipulatable, if that's a word, uh, in your Windows environment. So I'm going to make a new directory uh, and just call it Android Create. Okay, so at this point, I'm done with this card, and uh, I'm going to right-click on these here, and this is very important. Always unmount. Always unmount before you unplug. I can't stress that enough. Unmount these partitions before you pull them out of the card reader or out of your USB port. It's very important that you unmount them. As soon as the little green dots go away, you can pull this card out. Okay, now I've pulled it out and this goes away. So I'm going to minimize all of this and I'm going to plug the card back in. And now you'll notice it's FAT32, which is what I called it when I labeled it. And I open it and lo and behold, there's my Android fo folder. And uh, this basically is how you use Linux without being too concerned about messing up your system. Um, I, I want to, again, stress that uh, this is not something that you'll learn on the first try. It's something that requires some... Um, some practice I guess and uh, it, but it is something that if you're going to be dealing with Android phones and you're going to be dealing with the Android operating system it is critical that you uh, have some form of access to Linux uh, so when you're done with all of this uh, you can close you can save the machine state and it will always be there for you to play with later uh, so uh, I believe that we are done with this part of my tutorial uh, again this has been Reverend Kyle teaching you how to not be scared of Linux.